Doctor, you have to listen to us. Rather a generic sort of farmhouse. Could be any here. Maybe a sudden shock. I really wouldn't... What did you do that for? To wake you up. It's more likely you'll wake up Tegan. Tegan is here? Yes, asleep in the bed upstairs. Oh. With Adrid. Oh. They're my children. You might also wake my wife. I don't know why, but I never could imagine you having a wife. What's her name? It's... Wait a moment. This is ridiculous. Oh, there you are. It's Perry. What is it? Chameleon. Chameleon? That's... That's an important name. Frightening name. These names mean nothing to me. Excuse me, moustache. I must make sure Perry's all right. Doctor! You know, love, as a scientist, this is very exciting. But also way, way out of my comfort zone. Exactly how are we going to wake up now? Never mind that. Follow him. Where's he gone? We have to find the doctor. Make him start to work out what's going on. Make him think about the problem. Even if it takes his entire dinner service. Oh, the doctor, there you are. Shh! Adric and Tegan. They're lovely. <laughs> that gold star looks a bit sharp. Doctor, I'm a mother myself now. I wish you could see her. But that's not how Adric and Tegan were. Not when you met them or when you left them. They were adults. Well, they still have a lot of growing to do. They're not coming through strongly enough yet. Something's getting in the way of, of, of me being born. Or dying. I mean... What do I mean? What is that outside? It mustn't come in here. Doctor, where are you going? I mustn't let it in. I can see you. Why are you standing way out there? Why won't you come any closer? Doctor, these are life-threatening conditions. You have to come in. What are you shouting at? Can you see him? There, right at the edge of the farm. It's hard to see him. He's all in white, like a mummy, bound up. I'm not sure. But no, Lasati there, against the trees. He's moving. He's walking away. <laughs> He's circling the place. <laughs> That seemed to come right out of the sky. If conditions in this mind, if we are in a mind, if the actual conditions of where we are are reflected by our experiences here, we're not going to be able to get help because this is the worst blizzard I've ever seen. We're completely cut off, we're facing an unknown enemy and we have no weapons. Tell me that at least you've got a few bales of hay that we can hide behind. I've seen him before. What? Doctor, you know who that was. And you know I know. You know I was there. You know what I'm talking about. I can see it in your face. I don't want any trouble. I have a life here, a proper existence. I've stopped. I don't have to run from place to place now. This is the kind of time I always wanted. Isn't it? Doctor, if you don't remember who we are, what's your name? You can see this is wrong. This is an illusion. Do you know how often I got to play cricket? Hardly at all. Few seasons. Not what you might call a career. Not long enough to build up a, a decent average. Not one that meant something. My people are made in different ways for different things. Each time we change, we change into something more comfortable. Something appropriate to the conditions. I, this me, me, I, I was made for an existence in linear time. For births, marriages and, and deaths. For domestic bliss. I, I was made to be at rest. And I have been denied this. That doesn't sound like you. When were you ever petulant? You can't remember your name, but somehow you know about your people. You obviously know who we are, on some level. And you know what that thing circling your house is, even though you claim not to. This is everything I ever wanted here. A, a wife and children, a home, a life based in time, surrounded by seasons, cut off from... from bigger things. Everything I ever wanted is something that only exists in children's stories. Oh, cheers. You know what I mean. <laughs> and I know that voice, too. Oh, God's a trap, and I know that voice. This is a trap. Real life is a trap. What an extraordinary thought. You know, I'm not going to sort this out on my own. You're going to have to tell me. When you regenerated, you called it a watcher. A watcher? I was there. When you became you... Adric was there, and Tegan. The real Adric and Tegan. Say it to yourself. Adric, Tegan, and... Nissa. You must be Nissa. You're not one of my family. Not 
Not in the way you mean, Doctor. We travelled together in the TARDIS. Now you're getting it. Don't speak so soon. We're not out of the caves yet. I, I just need a moment to think to piece all this together. But we're dying of hypothermia. That door again. There's something about that door. It keeps bursting open. It wants me to come out here. You said something strange earlier about having a coffin in the barn. We shouldn't go near the barn, then. No. We must. Come on. 